That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Brian O'Halloran. Jason David Frank. Humberto Ramos. Please do not change channel. Welcome back. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can keep coming back over and over to hang with us and our wonderfully talented and creative guests in the arts and entertainment world. I'm Allison Murray, and right now we are at uh, Fayetteville, New York, and we're hanging at the Fayetteville Free Library at an author meet and greet hosted by Tainted Moonlight, Aaron Kelly. And we're hanging with our good friend from back in last spring, mm -hmm. I think it was April or Ish, around there, uh, W.K. Pomeroy. So thanks so much for hanging with us again. Nice to see you again. So uh, what have you been doing since almost a year now? Well, I've been working on write, more writing. Um, I'm working, I've got a novel in progress right now that I'm just about to send out to publishers. Um, I'm also finishing up uh, a collection that I, I want to get out. Both I really kind of want to get in front of an agent as well as in front of publishers. So. Okay. We'll see how that process goes. Yeah. But yeah. It's been fun. It's lots of work. Um, I've been working with the Utica Writers Club and workshopping things. Nice. That's great. So what's your um, what's your book that you're getting ready to? The next thing coming out, uh, Adirondack Mysteries 3, which is the, the third volume of uh, this particular series is coming out. It's due out this spring. It was actually originally due out last summer, but the publisher moved it back to this spring. Okay. So it's it's due out. It's um, from my character in that. My main character in that story is a Bosnian detective who um, came to this country and was underemployed because he couldn't get a job doing what he did in Bosnia. He came here and he gets kind of pulled into police cases because of his knowledge. He specialized in studying herbs and medicine and things along those lines. And because he can't work under his degree, he kind of does it freelance. And in the third uh, story that he has here, he meets his equal somebody else who has similar knowledge to him and uses it in a different way. Oh, okay, nice. And um, so you've been working with uh, the players Utica. Utica? Yep, I've, um, I did a play with them last spring and right now I'm in the, pro in the audition process with them for their uh, next play which is called Godspell. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. I, I, I did, remember that when I was a kid. Well, I did that when I was a kid. So did I, I, I did yeah. the lead a million years ago, and that's why I auditioned for this. Yeah. We'll, we'll see where that goes. I can't promise that I will be in it at this point. Oh, cause the, I got my fingers it, it, crossed. It's, it's right in the audition process, so nice. we'll see how that goes. Beautiful. Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? Um, what have you been doing? Well, since, uh, well... Since last spring? Yeah. Um, one thing that I didn't talk about last spring, I've got a gentleman who is working on his novel, and he doesn't type well, so I've been helping him with typing it. He's working on a, a science fiction novel that deals with a, um, shifts in how people perceive things, and, how, and it's a superpower kind of thing. And I've been working with him... Uh, Every other week, I go and help him type things out, and that that's been a fun project to work on. He's uh, he's a really good writer, very talented person, just doesn't have the ability to, to physically do the typing. So, oh, so that's great! Wow. And I'm that's I'm awesome. hope that's something I'm hoping will will lead to something for him. It's yeah. it, that that should be a lot of fun. So what's coming up for you after today? Are you doing any more book signings? Uh, well, I'll be at Mayfair this year. Um, I've done okay. Mayfair yeah. the last five years. That's always fun. Um, Tim puts on a really good event there. It's uh, it's an excuse for me to dress up in a costume. Yep. Um, we get a... I, I kind of push my uh, the steampunk books there a little bit more. We've got the um, 
under a brass moon and gears of brass, which both do very well at, the, at that fair. Yeah. People like steampunk. It's, it's a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we haven't gotten there yet, but we're, we're hoping, to, I'm hoping to connect with him. It's, there's a lot of, um, it, it's one of the few Renaissance type fairs that's free. So yeah. it, it doesn't cost anybody anything, anything to walk in on it, which is, you know, that's a great thing for, for them to deal with. Yeah. And you get some acts there that are really professional acts. And, know. you know, you don't have to pay anything for them. I know. It's great. It's fantastic. I bet you we have time for a game. Sure. <laughs> We're going to play a game. You remember me? I'll do games. Game I like games. Girl. Let's play. What do we want to play? Let's play Never Have I Ever. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Harry doesn't like Never Have I Ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you weren't my mom, it would be different. <laughs> <laughs> so I take one of these? I haven't yes. done it on the cards. Okay, you want me to go first? Sure. Let's see. Never have I ever accidentally been the first person to tell a kid Santa Claus wasn't real. I never did that. Because we can't do that to children. <laughs> <laughs> I was one of those kids who early on people would say there's no such thing as Santa Claus and instead of instead of saying oh you're, you're right I said no no there is and I can prove it and I went home and I went into the encyclopedia because that's how old I am I looked in the encyclopedia <laughs> not online and looked it up and looked up and came back in and said here's the proof that, that such a thing exists that I can prove it. <laughs> See there you go that's a good one. My never have I ever is I've never taken a dump while on a date. <laughs> Um, I, 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 I probably have, uh, it's been a long time since I was actually dating, but, um, it's, it's probably happened. <laughs> I, I can admit that I'm certain I have when I go on date night with my wife. So okay. That counts. That, that counts. counts. Right. Let's do, we got time for one more, Harry. We got time for one more. Oh, geez. Never have I ever not used a condom simply because we didn't have one. <laughs> I don't know. I've been married for 20 some years, so I'm going to say yes, I've never used a condom. <laughs> Fair enough. What wasn't available? Never have I ever had sex with five in five different states with different people. Know if you're a male, five or. different states. <laughs> I'm gonna say I never have in five different states with I, five different women. With five different women, <laughs> certainly not in the, in the last 29 years. <laughs> I can definitely say that. All right, WK Pomeroy is not for sale. <laughs> Well, well, guys, wants to get right. Or at least I'm extremely <laughs> expensive. How's that? <laughs> We've had a blast hanging with WK. I'm Allison Ingraham, but before we go, we'd like to thank our partners at Krypton Radio out of LA, Famous Faces and Funnies, Off the Chain Radio with the Avon Mason, Space Coast Comics, the Florida Book News, Word Fire Press, our great friends at Some Unique Magazine, Asylum Convention Entertainment Services with Heather Reed. These are the folks that share our videos all over the World Wide Web, and we hope you will too. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think of today's show and our guests. You can also check our guest links below. Remember to subscribe, log on, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. Beautiful. Thank you.